Hi, it's Matt from Designated, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a nice table using Elementor in WordPress. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and check the description for the links where you can learn more about website development and app development in general. So, let's get started with opening up your WordPress dashboard and scroll down to plugins and click on Add New. Here you want to look for the Elementor table plugin and we are going to install the plugin that is called Table Addons for Elementor. Install this plugin and then open the page you want to edit with Elementor. And I'm going to edit this page and add one more table to it. So search for table widget and select the one that is called table, drag and drop it, then you can adjust a width a little bit if you want, I'm going to adjust it so it's a little bit less wider. So let's say 15%, then you also want to make sure that you edit this volume for mobile devices, as there maybe you want to put 0 and for tablet. I think 15 will be fine. Okay, now let's continue with our content of the table. Or uh, let's just change the color first to it because it fades in this background a little bit. So for the header, you can adjust the background color easily by just moving this slider a little bit. Let's say I want to have a little bit of orange tint there. So I'm going to put a color like this. Okay. Then for the body of the table, we also want to change the background a little bit. It can be a little bit like this. And then for the general style, you can choose if you want to have a border around the header or not. And I'm going to choose that. I don't really want to have any border there, or maybe I'm going to use a little bit of white border, like this. Perfect. Now let's check how you can edit the content of the table. So the first section is header, the second one is body, and it basically means that if I want to add something more to the header, I just click on the add item, and then I can name it. For the body section, you want to add as many items as you have headers. So if you have three headers, you want to add at least three body sections or body items. If you add more than three, you can see that what happens is not very nice and you need to specify that the next item you added is the next row, uh, new row. So just click on the new row and then you can add more items to the table and each time you have four of them in one line, just click on the new row. That way you can adjust your table to have as much content as you need and have it nice. You can play a little bit more with the styling. You can put custom font there, you can maybe make a different border type or border color. You can put all new colors there and adjust the table how you want it. Thank you very much for watching, if you liked the video please consider subscribing and liking the video and make sure to follow the links in the description if you want to learn more about website development and app development in general. If you have any questions just leave a comment and I will try to answer them all. Thank you and bye.